Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mons and before we get started on this video, I wanted to wish you all a happy 2024, happy new year. I hope that 2023 was a great year for you all and that you were able to finish it strong. And I'm also wishing you a great start to the new year and hopefully it has been so far so good. I can say for sure that it has already been a very eventful 2024 in the best way possible. I'm really looking forward to whatever the year brings. So for today's video, I actually wanted to go over my final sneaker pickups of 2023. Now, since the holidays were towards mid to end of December, it was very, very chaotic with friends and family coming in. So I didn't really have an opportunity to film this for you all, but nonetheless, I wanted to go ahead and put it together for you. So I hope you enjoy this first video of 2024. And if you enjoy my content, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you've already watched my video on Instagram, then this isn't going to be a new pair for you all. And the first pair that I wanted to share with you all is going to be this one. So this is going to be the Kith 990 V2. Now, for those who aren't familiar with this collection, it is an anniversary collection that came out back in 2022. This is one of four pairs that Kith released in collaboration with New Balance. And what's really cool about this drop is that they took existing colorways from past collaborations and reintroduced them on different uh, New Balance silhouettes. So for this one, this is the Cycle Aids colorway. We first saw this one on the, on the New Balance 997.5, and now we see it on the 990 V2. So in addition to the sneakers, it did come with some additional accessories. I'll go ahead and show that to you right now. Now, before we get to the additional accessories, actually, this is the box that it comes in. We have an image of the sneakers on the lid part of the box, and it says here, Kith for New Balance since 2011, which is really cool. And then we see that Kith monogram all around the box itself in this really, really beautiful orange color. Now, when we open it up, we're going to get the canvas dust bag that the sneakers come with, which I really love. I love when brands include dust bags with their sneakers because then whenever I do pack it for a trip, then this is something that I can grab really quickly and then incorporate into my packing list. So that is super nice. In addition, it does come with some matching socks. I'll go ahead and open it up since I actually didn't have an opportunity to open it up. But I think the colors themselves really match that teal colorway that we see towards the back of the sneaker, which I think is really nice. And here it is. Oh, it's so cute. I love this kind of color. And I think they did a really great job like matching it. So, and luckily this is my size as well. Of course, I hope so since I did get it in my size. And this is what they look like. Oh, cute. So we have that kind of teal here at the top part of the crew sock and then kind of like that orange color here towards the bottom of the sock. So that's so cute. I can't wait to wear this out with them. So I think that'll look really, really nice. Now, since we've gone through the accessories, let's go ahead and get to the sneakers themselves and kind of go through some of my favorite elements on it. So here towards the mud guard and the toe box, we have this really beautiful orange perforated suede. And then some of the overlays actually don't have that perforation. Now, as we move towards the middle of the sneaker, we have it more in this tan suede. And then we even have this like tan leather component that sits at the top of the three eyelets right here. We have another perforated gray suede area here and then rounding it off with that teal on the back. Now, the reason why I also really like this, this shoe aside from not having the silhouette in my collection. So my husband's favorite color is orange and mine is teal or not necessarily teal, blue or like shades of blue. So I thought this was a really great like uh, incorporation of our favorite colors so I think that's why I really like them as well and I love the fact that they kept it neutral on that mid panel area so I'm really really loving this sneaker and actually in addition to the laces that it comes with it also comes with a couple of other colors now it also comes with like a white and a gray lace if you wanted to switch out the tan laces that are already on the sneaker. So of course we love some good um, options to have for the laces, but that's gonna be the first pair that I have as one of my final pickups of 2023. So let's go ahead and move on to the second sneaker and the lineup that I have prepared for today. So this is a sneaker that released towards the later end of 2023 and unfortunately I wasn't able to get on release day, but I tried to be patient on this one since I really wanted this pair and luckily I was able to get my size off of GOAT. 
and it is this one right here. So for those who aren't familiar with this sneaker, this is the latest collaboration between Jordan Brand and Alma Manier. It is the Air Jordan 5, and this is in the Dawn colorway. This is one of two colorways that release from this specific collaboration. The other one is called Dusk with the um, all black colorway with purple accents. This is the one with the gray and blue accents. Now, I have always loved all of the Alma Manier sneakers that have come out so far. I have at least one of the colorways ways from each collaboration that's been put out so this is one of those that were kind of like a no exception even though I had to be a little patient on it now let's go ahead and go through some of the details that I absolutely love on the sneaker now a lot of their branding kind of um, melts through I don't know if melts is the right word but is really incorporated well there you go into the sneaker now one of them being their Alba Manier logo that you can see here on the cage and then you can actually see that on the tongue here as well. And it's also in that aged yellow color that we're seeing a lot of in recent years. And in addition, what I really love is the fact that we can see that same patterning on the sock liner as well. It's very subtle, but it's there. It's something that I actually didn't notice in a previous pair that I had, but after I took a look at it, I was just so um, impressed by the amount of detail that was put into the sneaker. Now, also, in terms of the color, I actually wasn't anticipating it to be a light gray upper. In photos, they came out as a really bright white color to me. And so when I got them in the mail, I was really, really surprised at how they turned out, but in the best way possible. I love the fact that they incorporated a very light gray and kind of meshed them well together with these blue and like aged yellow accents. I think they did a really great job, job on the sneaker altogether. And I love the fact that we're seeing a lot of that quality that we typically see with um, a Manier collaboration. So we see the Nike Air, which is, sit which is stitched here in the back, as well as the number 23 here. And then actually on the inside, if you're able to see on the insole, so that Nike Air is also stitched. So I am always very, very impressed by the quality that um, a Manier puts out. And this is... Um, not an exception to that in any way possible. So I have already worn this pair as you can see from the rock that's stuck on the sole itself But I think this is gonna be a very staple sneaker for me to be wearing for a really long time So that's gonna be that second pair Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the final two pairs of my final sneaker pickups of 2023 now these two sneakers I would say were picked up more for my own self-development and is kind of going to be a how do I say this? I guess you could say it's my way of documenting my progress within these two sports. Now, before the end of 2023, as you know, I have been kind of wanting to get into golf or be um, a little bit better at it. I love going to the range and hitting um, golf balls and whatnot, but I've never actually gone and gotten lessons. So that's definitely one of my goals this year is to get some professional golf lessons just so that I can improve my form and then maybe be confident enough to do a course. So with that being said, I ended up getting this pair as a Christmas gift from my husband, actually, um, just to kind of like motivate me to continue pursuing just some really fun things for the year. So for those who aren't familiar with the strap, this is the Michelle Wee West and Air Jordan 1 collaboration. This is the golf one. And we're seeing a lot of really beautiful details on the sneaker. I was so blown away by all the details that they incorporated in it when I saw photos of them. So I just thought that once I actually got them in hand, they are even more beautiful. So I'll go ahead and give you all a look at this pair, a close look. So only because I feel like the video probably won't do it justice, but I'm gonna do my best to kind of showcase all of the amazing details that were incorporated into the sneaker. This is actually my first golf shoe, so I actually have some proper golf shoes to wear when I go to the range. All the ones I've been using in the past are either just like my regular Jordan 1, but I'm so happy that I'm finally able to have a sneaker that is best used for the courses and whatnot. Now, some of my favorite details on this pair are the wave uh, embroidered swoosh here. It is so, so beautifully done. I'm not sure if it's truly being picked up on the camera, but definitely one of my top favorite details on this. In addition, I love the fact that they used an ombre effect on the laces from a very baby pink all the way up to the top to this very cute hot pink. And of course, on the sole itself, we see here Aloha. And a lot of the components and details on the sneaker actually commemorates Michelle's um, Hawaiian and Korean heritage. So I love being able to see uh, people's identities being put into sneakers because it really just tells such a beautiful story and this is no exception to that. So I'm really looking forward to having this in my collection and you will definitely be catching me wearing these out 
um, in my upcoming golf videos. All right, everybody, so we have come to the fourth and final sneaker pickup of 2023. Now, a quick story time before I share the sneakers that I picked up. So before the end of the year, I decided that I wanted to try Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for the new year. So I went ahead and reached out to my friend who has been practicing for a few years and he recommended that I try one of the classes at the gym that he goes to. I actually ended up going to my first class last week and I absolutely fell in love with it. I thought it was the most a fun and challenging sport that I've ever tried in my entire life and it's really motivated me to get better at it. So as a result, I decided that I wanted to pick up this pair to document my journey with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and it is this one right here. So this is the collaboration between Nike SB and Albino and Preto. So what's really cool about the sneaker is that the outer materials represent the gi or the uniform that jujitsu fighters wear. And we kind of see a lot of the different iconic materials throughout the sneaker that are typically seen on gis. And what's really cool about this too is that it is a tearaway type of material. So as you continue to wear them and kind of skate in them, you'll see more colors that are hidden underneath. Now, in terms of the colors that were used, they actually represent jujitsu belt rank colors, which I thought was a really, really cool detail to add into here, just to kind of mesh both skating and jujitsu into a beautiful pair. And I think they did a really great job with the storytelling. And in addition to the sneaker, it does come with additional laces that also represent the jujitsu belt rank colors. So we'll see all of them right here. And I thought this would be a great way for me to document my journey. And so I am currently a white belt, so I'm planning on switching the laces to white just to kind of, yeah, like I said, document my journey. And I think it'll be really fun once I continue to rank up. And, you know, I know it's not going to be easy and I know that it's going to be a very long road ahead. But I think the way I see it, I'm just really looking to progress in the sport and to be better at it and just to con continuously learn and be challenged is one of the things that I was looking for when I joined the sport. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it and to my journey and I'll definitely be incorporating some of that into my videos as I create more and yeah, I'm really excited to be sharing that with you all. So that's gonna conclude my final sneaker pickup of 2023. So that'll do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that content and learned a little bit more about me. I'm very, very excited to be back on YouTube after a bit of a two week break from the holidays. And I'm really looking forward to continuing making all of these long form videos. So if you enjoyed the video for today, please feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all at the next video. This has been Lance and bye.